Hey guys, Dr. Castro here from a Retake Chiropractic. So um, we have a lot of patients that complain about TMJ pain, so jaw pain, and also grinding when they're sleeping and things like that. So there's also there's actually a relationship between the craniocervical orientation and the center of the occlusion, okay? Um, so when we get people adjusted, it actually helps decrease some of the tension and the pain in the TMJ. Um, and there's a research uh, article that talks about that. So I'm going to go over that. So the research was called the relationship between craniocervical orientation and the center for seclusion in adults. And it was done at, at the Journal of Craniomandibular and Sleep Practice in 2017. So the objective of the study was to assess the clinical observation that have been observed over the years that suggests changes can occur in dental occlusion following a cervical adjustment, okay? So what they measured was postural changes and also uh, bite skin before and after getting adjusted. And what they found was that the bite scan changed it after an upper cervical correction, as well as the body posture, okay? So this study suggests that there is a link between upper neck and the jaw, and how aligning the spine can also help align the occlusion of the jaw and help you have a better occlusion, so better bite occlusion, which if you have better bite occlusion, you have less tension in the jaw, less pain and things like that. So this is one of the many studies that shows how um, the upper neck misalignment can also affect how the jaw is functioning. Um, so if you have any questions, if you know anyone that has, you know, TMJ pain or grinding or problems with the occlusion, let them know that upper cervical care can help, okay? If you have any questions, just comment below and take care.